All right. So super excited for devotion this week, Hannah. Looking forward to it. What are we going to be doing in unsanctioned desires? Hmm. Well, I'm super stoked about this upcoming weekend's devotion because it was actually inspired by a conversation that was had in one of the Feminine Truth Tuesdays a couple of weeks back about the unusual things that actually get our pussies wet and how often, especially as pussy keepers, uh, there are things that really turn us on, fantasies that we might have, um, desires that we're really nervous about even accepting within ourselves, let alone sharing with someone else. And so what we don't realize is that those desires are actually really deeply sacred. It's often something that is really dwelling within our subconscious, some sort of dynamic around power or awareness or mythology or archetypes that um, just really aren't a part of our generally, you know, collectively sanctioned um, sexual practices. And so starting to dive in and unpack some of those desires to understand what the driving force and the motivation is behind those aspects of ourselves and what it is that's really wanting to be expressed through us sexually. Often it can be something that's up in the collective field that wants to be um, healed within a container where um, consent and boundaries are really readily explored. And um, something, some aspect of ourselves that might not really feel able to fully accept love because we can't accept that love within ourselves. We can't give that to ourselves. So we believe that someone else can't give it to us. So when we dive into those desires, start to understand them on a deeper level, create safe spaces to consensually explore those desires, um, it can actually help us bring our vitality and our life force more online and it can help us integrate these aspects of ourselves that we might think aren't really lovable but actually holds the key to our superpowers so we're going to be exploring those desires on Sunday we're going to be exploring ways that we can explore those desires and really self uh, um, and really healthy healing and consensual ways and how to tap into the power and the magic that really lives within those shadow aspects of ourselves and our sexuality. So thank you for creating the container for us to dive into the realms of unsanctioned desires so that we can find the power that's there. So would you say we're going to be like role playing or like what, what do we, how do we do this online? Mm hmm. Well, it's going to start with a little journey, a little shamanic journey and some breath work to help us tap into the realms of our sexual desires and kind of the underworlds, the underbelly of, um, of our sexuality. And then there will be a little writing prompt, a little journal prompt for people to really hone in um, what those fantasies are. There will be some sharing within the group and then a little bit of education around how we can um, practice really sharing about those desires and how we can create conversations and containers to, um, to create the perfect, the perfect ingredients for a safe atmosphere to bring those desires through in full expression. So there'll be a little bit of journaling, a little bit of journaling, um, and a little bit of sharing as well. Oh, that sounds really, really important. I'm, yeah, it's like the wonder, a wonderful way to be able to unearth what's there and actually bring those desires to living them. So thank you for creating this space. Um, I'm sure that um, many, including myself, will really benefit from this medicine. So thank you for bringing it forward, Hannah.